she really don't talk a lot so even if she is feeling some type of way I won't know so this is the only thing this is where it gets stressful y'all it gets stressful like this got a bag I spent it had to get the new thing tinted she gonna throw a bag in the backseat hit a phone in the phone it's different she gonna let me buzz it down buzz it down she gonna let me buzz it down Good job, it's y'all boy Jay cooking. I'm back with again with another lit video. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey man, say man, hold up. Before we start this video, I just want to give, you know what I'm saying, y'all, a little bit of appreciation, you know what I'm saying? I'm investing in not only myself, but in y'all. And I want to say thank you guys so much for staying along this journey, even with the terrible audio I have had. Okay. Every single video I've posted. Um, for the past literally two years, I've had at least a couple comments basically saying that I need to get a mic. You know what I'm saying? You guys want clearer audio. You want to be able to hear me better. And I want to say uh, thank you guys so much for staying along this journey because now, you know what I'm saying? We ain't slacking, baby. We ain't slizzy, slizzy, slacking. So, I want to say I hope you guys are having a very wonderful uh quarantine um today's taco tuesday you know what i'm saying we got a whole lot of little little uh life advice and uh news to basically talk to you guys about um it's been a minute since i've did a sit down mukbang video and i've gave you guys like a little life update and maybe like some, some advice you know what i'm saying i want to start connecting with you guys a little bit more i feel like as youtubers um we get so caught up in the the realm or the ream, or whatever the fuck you call it, I don't know. But uh, we get so caught up in making so much content for you guys and making sure we stay interesting for you guys that we don't really sit back and think about the fact that we need to still connect with you guys, that we need to make sure y'all are the ones watching us. So we need to stay talking to y'all and trying to stay connected with y'all. But it's hard just because it's so many of y'all. Best I can do right now is I can give some life advice as if I'm talking to y'all. You know what I'm saying? I am talking to y'all. But if I'm talking to you literally on FaceTime or something, just act like, you know what I'm saying? You at home, just act like Jay Cook on FaceTime with you, baby. And we sitting here, we talking about, you know what I'm saying? A little shum shum. And, and you, you kind of annoyed. Cause you like this nigga ain't even stopped the video yet He's still talking about the intro But yeah for real I lay out so much Make sure before we get to the video I hit that like button Boom go ahead subscribe button Click and make sure you turn your post notifications on Like a light bulb Y'all know it is Let me grab my drink real quick I space that Alright Jordan was supposed to grab Jordan was supposed to grab my packages I'm using this this the new mic So hopefully the audio You know when there's one video Everybody y'all remember that video I don't know what video it was But Jordan's like Somebody tell Justice he needs to invest. So look at me now, mama, I made it. So uh, today what I got, you guys, I know you guys don't really care. I got a little bit of a, a taco situation going on. Like I said, it's Taco Tuesday. Today is actually my daughter's one month birthday. It's not really a birthday, but you know what I'm saying? That's a big, that's a big moment for a newborn. Hit one month, you know what I'm saying? We healthy, she's smiling as always. And you know what I'm saying? Just looking as beautiful as possible so yeah i do have a couple different topics that i'm gonna talk about today i have one is about baby mama drama um two is about the next one is co-parenting you know what i'm saying how to co-parent and like the good and the bad about it obviously other than that i'm just gonna be talking it's just random stuff so basically um i do want to say to start this video you know my baby mama started off you know what i'm saying pretty cool and now you know, I gotta tell y'all, she's still cool. Boom! <laughs> <laughs> nah, but for real, I know a lot. So, like, this is the thing. I'm gonna talk. I'm gonna talk on this baby mama drama topic because a lot of people have been asking me. Y'all like, how's the drama with y'all baby mama? Hey, can you hand me a napkin, please? How's the drama? You know what I'm saying with your baby mama? Just because they expect that type of stuff. Um, they like ask me like. Are you stressed out by her? Yeah, like that. I will say this. I will say this, y'all. Just because if you got a person that you had a baby with, right? Baby mama, baby daddy, whatever it is. Um, when you are raising a child together, it's only been one month, you know what I'm saying? But technically, it's been like a like 10 months because you got to think about it. When the female is pregnant. 
um, you still are going through, you're still trying to keep that relationship with that person. You know what I'm saying? You still got to, especially if you're co-parenting, right? Um, I was just talking to somebody. I'm like, I wonder if it's harder or easier to be with the person you know what I'm saying, having a kid, and I and they say like, no, like, honestly, you go one or two ways on both sides because one is like, for example, my case, I have to keep a relationship with my baby mama, whether I would like it or not, just because of the fact that I have my daughter, you know what I'm saying, so if my relationship with my baby mama isn't good, my relationship with my daughter is not going to be good, you know what I'm saying? Because then it gets complicated, and then you got, you know what I'm saying, deal with emotions and jealousy and stuff like that. So, a lot of people have a tendency to think that since I am not with my baby mama, that it's actually easier to raise a child, right? So, let me say this. I honestly am not in the other situation of being with somebody and raising a child which I, I always dreamt of that actually having, you know what I'm saying? I always thought that that was the way it was going to go, but obviously God has plans and works stuff out for a reason. But I will say, I don't think it's easier by a landslide by any means because there is still those emotions. Even if the girl isn't feeling no type of way, you still got to be worried about the fact that what if she does start feeling some type of way? You know what I'm saying? Spot on. We got another baby daddy right here that's got, Jeez. well, he got two. Oh, no. He got two baby mamas. Oh, no. <laughs> but it's okay. God work everything out that's for a reason. But, yeah, so he's over here. Like, every point I'm doing, he, uh, uh, uh. With my baby mama, in all reality, has um been very much, like, cordial. You know what I'm saying? Really cool. She really don't talk a lot, so even if she is feeling some type of way, I won't know. So this is the only thing. This is where it gets stressful, y'all. It gets stressful like this. When you are splitting, when you're split, you know what I'm saying, with the baby, it's like, for me, it's like, damn, like when I have her, her mom want pictures every hour, you know what I'm saying? Want pictures every 30 minutes. Want to know when she's sleeping, when she's eating, which I totally understand because it's the mom, you know what I'm saying? And moms are super protective. I know a lot of y'all keep saying, oh, you lucky to even have her to yourself. No, I'm not lucky. I'm just her dad. That's what it is. So, uh, it does get tricky. It gets tricky because you don't know what's going to upset the other person. You know what I'm saying? You don't know. You might see something as being okay because you're the dad and you feel some type of, like, you have your opinion. But then now, okay, the mom see you with that. Okay, now she, I don't, know, I don't want that happening. Same thing on my end. If I see something that her mom don't, that her mom do, I don't like, I'll let her know. She hasn't done that yet. Um, but, so I will say, like, baby mama drama is really just, like, I feel like the only time, there's two different ways for baby mama drama to start. And I'm praised all love to God and, give all praise to God that I don't have no baby mama drama right now <laughs> because I feel like I've been playing my part but then again just because you play your part don't mean that you won't have baby mama drama right I would say there's two different things there's resent there's resentment and there's jealousy that will cause baby mama drama you know what I'm saying so or baby daddy drama whichever one whichever side it is I'm speaking on a guy's perspective right if there's jealousy, there's gonna be, it's gonna be complicated. Y'all gonna have some problems. If there's resentment as in like, man, like why aren't you doing this? Why aren't you doing that? Then there's gonna be some problems. Other than that, I really don't see any other way of like you having problems with like your, the father or mother of your child. Just a little bit of advice on my end, what I've experienced so far is if you got somebody and you're trying to keep that relationship solid, I'm gonna try to keep as little as problems as possible. You gotta do that. You gotta do a couple of the things that you don't wanna do. Like, you need to stay in contact with them. You need to send them pictures. You need to, even if you have a girlfriend or a boyfriend that you're interested in, you still need to be all, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> he over there clapping. 
You need to be all, like, you know what I'm saying, all up in their business. They need to know. Moms especially need to be reassured. So I would say baby mama drama to answer y'all question when y'all keep asking me that. No, I don't have no type of baby mama drama um, right now. Luckily, cause I'm playing my part and I'm doing my job. A little life update. We got Mr. Young Reese is going ahead and dropping his Cartier frames. I see you. If I was in your place, I'd try me to. It's called Deja Vu. I know he's probably looking at me like, you're Cartier frames, nigga. It's Deja Vu. <laughs> I'll go ahead and pop up a snippet right about three, two, one. Cartier frames, I see you. If I was in your place, I'd try me to. Pull up with a couple like my name, Lou. Doing so much, feel like Deja Vu. Reese, they wear, it ain't nothing new. House on the hills, panoramic on the view Pull up with a couple like my name Lou Doing so much, feel like deja vu yeah. I'ma need a check if I go out yeah. Mortgage on my neck, gotta show her yeah. She talk too much, keep the whore yeah. out Diamonds still shine when the lights out mm. Spin a nice piece on these frames mm. You only drop the top when it's nice out yeah. I just took a trip out of Spain So, uh, the struggles of being a dad I want to talk about that. Um, basically, the struggles of being a dad are, I honestly wouldn't have expected, okay? So like, for example, when I first found out I was having my daughter, I'm like, bet it's gonna be cake work, you know what I'm saying? Like, I've been around kids before. I've been, I can I can make a kid laugh. But when a kid can't laugh, when a kid, all a kid do is look at you, and <laughs> shit, and eat, and sleep, it was really hard to make him laugh. <laughs> Not make him laugh, but it's really hard to be super entertaining and still be able to get stuff done. So I would say the struggles of a dad. We're going to go ahead and break this down for y'all one time for the one time. First off, when you have, if you're co-parenting, I'm speaking from co-parenting points every time I talk about babies okay so don't think i'm speaking in relationship because i'm not in a relationship and i don't even think i'm gonna be in one anytime soon Boom. <laughs> first off number one struggle is uh we'll go ahead and do the struggles with when you don't have your daughter first struggles of when you don't have your daughter you got to get everything done within that two three day span that you don't have your child right because when you do have your child you can't do nothing i can't do nothing okay i can't edit because when i'm editing I got my daughter right there staring at me, looking at me, <laughs> and I'm looking at her, and I'm like, ah, shit, uh, I just want to hold you. And then they go, okay, they might look at you for like 15, 20 minutes, and then all of a sudden they're going to start crying. And you got to figure out what they're crying about, right? Wait, was I talking? I was talking about when you don't have your daughter. See, I'm all over the place, y'all. But, and I feel really uncomfortable that you guys are just sitting in here just listening to me and not Bro, saying anything. I'm not even listening to you. They're just sitting in here, just listening to my mukbang. Well, if you're a real YouTuber, that wouldn't phase you. It doesn't. All right, so why'd you say something about like it? When you don't have your child, get everything done you can get. Because when you got them, you can't do nothing. Especially as newborns, I realize it takes a lot of self-care for them. Because they can't do nothing. They can't wipe their ass. They can't feed themselves. They can't do nothing. So, you can't get nothing done. So get it done when you don't have them. Another thing you need to do when you don't have your child co-parenting is um, make sure you're checking in with the mom or the dad, whichever one you aren't, and see how the baby's doing because there's stuff that like you do as a parent that you don't think to like go tell, you know what I'm saying, your baby mom or your baby daddy, and you should because um, everybody needs to be reassured, you know what I'm saying, whether you're the mom or the dad. So I check in every here, and, yeah, every day, every day. I check in every day and I basically tell her, you know what I'm saying? Like how she doing, how she sleep, how she eat, how she, does she shit, does she piss, how many times, you know what I'm saying? All of the above. Oh, one last thing. Trying to find someone, you know what I'm saying, while having a kid. Okay, struggle. <laughs> this is a struggle, okay? One thing I'm going to put out there before I say this is I am not desperate. I'm not looking for love, you know what I'm saying? I already, obviously, you guys seen... You guys see so much of my life that you've seen, you know what I'm saying, how my relationship started and how it ended with somebody. And uh, that's not something I'm trying to go through again. So right now I'm not looking for, you know what I'm saying, love or whatever, but I definitely am single. So, you know what I'm saying? If, if, if Cupid shoot his arrow, pow, nigga, you can hit me. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> you can hit me. <laughs> hit me hard, nigga. <laughs> Nah, but uh, for real, um, trying to find a significant other while having a child is hard just because while having a kid with somebody, right? So the one thing is, obviously, I'm not with that person, but a lot of questions is when you just got to, it just sucks because you got to break down so much stuff that you didn't feel like you should have to break down <gasps> or should even... Not that it shouldn't matter, because it obviously matters, but it's just annoying that you gotta break everything down. This is why it's hard to find a significant other, right? They ask you, first question gonna be, oh, so what happened with you and your baby mom? Right, what happened with you and your baby daddy? Now you gotta break that down. The fact of, Jordan, can you please like go somewhere else, bro? Because you're distracting my whole video. It gets tough because when you're trying to find someone else, it's like, damn, like, I gotta, Break everything down to them, right? And then it's like, is this person even worth me telling all my business, every single detail about what's going on? Because I'm going to be straight up with y'all. I've talked to, you know what I'm saying, a few. I've had conversation with a few. I'm not going to sit here and act like I don't have no conversation with nobody. And I'll, it'll come like I'll break everything down. I just told you all my business. And then come to find out the next day, we fall off or you're not interested no more. So then it was like, what was the point in me even breaking all this down for you to decide, mm, is he worth it? Nah, yeah, no, nah, I'm good. I'm like, well, damn, like, shit. Can you at least give me a heads up so I don't got to break nothing down? But uh, yeah, that's one of the struggles of like trying to find somebody. That's step number one. And then once you actually are get into it, which I haven't got past this point yet, is now you got to figure out, now you got to figure out, you know what I'm saying, how to stay cordial. When I say cordial, I mean like, you know what I'm saying, mutual with not only your part your new partner but also your baby mama or baby daddy gotta be cool they you damn near they gotta be okay with it i can't lie to y'all so uh that's where it gets complicated and you gotta make sure that that person not only do you would you want that person in your life but would you be okay with that person being around your son your daughter whoever it is and do you feel like your baby mama or baby daddy is gonna be okay with that so i don't know like i really don't know where this mukbang is going y'all boy if you don't get and i don't know even where i went with it but basically all i wanted to do is get on here and tell you guys a little updated uh status of how it is co-parenting how it is being a dad you know what i'm saying obviously you guys seen the 24 hours so i wasn't gonna break down the steps of like uh taking care of a kid you know what i'm saying but it is a lot that goes into it so if you guys are having a child or not i know i've been getting a lot of like parent fans you know what i'm saying i've been getting a lot of like single moms single dads parents like my mom they watch my mom they cool with my mom but they watch me and it's like well damn like you feel me i got my the people that used to raise me when i was younger looking up to me now what i'm doing so it's like it's crazy but uh i would say with all of this everything going on right and all my day one supporters um it is hard because i know a lot of supporters come and go come and go come and go but for those people that have been uh part of the family, you know what I'm saying, the cook gang, whatever y'all want to call it, um, since day one or even day two, you know what I'm saying, even if you came in half halfway down, I want to say I've been feeling really blessed lately and I've been trying to figure out what it is that I need to do to capitalize on what I got going on, you know what I'm saying, I feel like there's this, I'm put in a very, very good place right now, I have a nice crib, you know what I'm saying, I have a car, um, I have my daughter now and I'm financially stable and now it's to the point where it's like I need to figure out what's the next big step you know what I'm saying obviously YouTube is always gonna be there I'm always gonna be doing YouTube um, no matter what I'm never gonna ease up on that but I am trying to figure out what's like the next step uh, what's the next big thing so um, honestly, if you guys have any ideas as to where I should invest my money, give me some ideas. Go ahead, comment down below. I might even just comment back to y'all and have like a little bit of conversation. But I love you guys so much. I hope you guys enjoyed this mukbang. I know it was kind of like all over the place and I got to figure out which title I'm going to come up with um, for the video. But 
I just want to say I want to start connecting with y'all a little bit more. I want to start doing giveaways. I want to start doing, you know what I'm saying, little stuff like that to get y'all feeling more engaged in my channel and myself. I know I already put out a lot of information out there, but I want to get more engaged with y'all. So, I let y'all make sure we get this video to like at least 10,000 likes, you know what I'm saying? We get 10,000 likes, I'll go ahead and do a part two. Whatever it is that y'all want me to do a mukbang on. And other than that, I love y'all so much. Uh, mama, we out this thing. Exclusive shot why you let me jump out the boat. Everything I just said was really real. I was drowning in your love. Yeah. Now my head is well above the water. Yeah. I ain't putting no one above.